Hello everyone, welcome to JX Optic. I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. And in this session, let's discuss the uh, preparation of a resume for SAP MM. And this would be the part one of this uh, series. And after after doing the resume preparation for FICO, I've got most number of requests for MM. So I'm doing it for MM now. And uh, based on the uh, other comments, I'll be going ahead with the other resumes. Okay, then let's start. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, do consider subscribing to our channel. It will have a lot of advantages for you. YouTube.com slash Optic. Thank you. Now I'm starting a resume <coughs> which can be considered for uh, can participants who have 3 to 8 years of experience. And uh, in general, uh, this is how we develop a resume, we write our uh, resume. So let's start off with uh, the beginning. I'm doing it from the scratch. So you just first need to give your name. And um, you can give your, initially first you need to give your name. Say, Navitya. And then you can say, you can give your name, phone number some number and then email id you you better give it uh, you know you always make sure that you give uh, your what you call uh, professional uh, gmail id so professional in the sense like we can have it something like aditya.m or something like that so i'll give aditya.acp labs at gmail.com now after this and you have to make sure you don't have this much gap so remove this gap go to this spacing line spacing and make it as zero now here we need to go for Now you can mention your, you can consider mentioning your full name as well. Something like uh, if you say Aditya M A D U R A, you can also give it like this, uh, or you can also give it something like Aditya M. So every, everything is okay. Now here you need to always make sure that you have the right kind of a font. Once you decide the font here, you should not change the font in the mail. And uh, the, the the way we find out, you know, this is not a genuine resume is like people copy paste some of the elements from different different uh, resumes and uh, each para will be of different font and we can easily make it out that it was a copy paste resume, it was written, not written. So in most of the cases, it's always preferred that you need to make sure that you always have a what you call a resume which is of... Uh, which is written by you, not copied. So after this, you can mention here SAP MM and the consultant. Or if you if you are not very sure about it, if you are not expert in it, then you can write it as something like SAP MM associate. Don't write both. So either you have to write consultant or associate, either of these two, and then. I've seen people he, writing on the top uh, saying that it's a curriculum by or resume. Don't write that. No, it's not. Uh, it doesn't look professional. So just have it. Now after this, in, in curriculum by curriculum by is for fresher. So in that curriculum by you will be basically having something like, uh, you know, uh, uh, career career uh, opportunities. Uh, I mean, like you will be requesting in the first para that you know, you know, give me one chance so that I can prove myself and something like that. So, but here it will be like in for a resume, it should be always like um, you know, in in the curriculum it will be career objective. 
wherein you know i'll be giving my level test if you give me opportunity something like that but here since it's a resume resume is for all professionals who have experience so when you have experience you should uh, mention it something like professional experience so you should write that's professional experience and in the professional experience you just mention something like this can be in bold because it's a side heading having four plus years now if you have less than four years you can say having around around four years if you have less than four years i mean like if it's a three years 10 months three years 11 months you can say around four years but if you already have more than four years you can say four plus years of sap experience as an sap mm consultant if you have any domain experience let's say you have 2 years of domain experience you can say you can you can write it like this let's say this is a first uh, statement right the same statement if you have domain experience can be written like this remember either of these two needs to be written so having say 6 plus years of experience of professional experience professional experience includes sap includes 4 plus years of says sap sap experience as an sap mm consultant or sap as mm associate okay now this can also be written as something like the same thing having the 6 plus years of experience professional 6 plus years of professional experience okay let me write it in another way four plus years of sap mn experience so instead of you do, if you don't want to write the designation you can write it like this mn experience that's it so having six plus years of professional experience you can you have to put comma here includes okay includes four plus years of sap mm experience now either of these three have to be chosen okay so i'll just uh, gray it out or say okay so either of these three have to be uh, written and after this the contribution should be worked on implementation support upgradation and product project if it is your fault on it if you don't know about product product project see me that if you don't know upgradation part see me that okay you can just simply say and so 
so this should be a continuation of this so if you don't know this you can just write it something like work done implementation project support project that's it implementation and support projects implementation and support projects this is how you can write it and um, having have good communication skills you can say quick learner quick learner and um, self motivating self motivating can complete can comfortable working in challenging environment so every every uh, you know employee employer anybody who recruits you in every employer would like to see these skills in the in the employee he has so everyone would like to have uh, someone who is good having good communication skills who is a quick learner because uh, most of the cases it might not be possible that you 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 know you learn it might not be possible that what you have already learned you are going to work on the same thing so there might be many chances where you have to work on those aspects which you have not been trained till now so you have to learn quickly and then you should be able to work on it so most of the companies look for such people and they they really you know appreciate whenever they find someone who can really quick quick start with uh, new things and can adapt new things easily and you know everybody would like to have someone who is self motivated like uh, you know no one wants anyone who is a negative minded or you know uh, not not having the positive attitude so it will be self motivating is something which is very good words and comfortable working in challenging environment now there are a lot of challenges in the in the company so in the in the project as well so definitely then you will be having a challenge so you should be able to take it on your side and then you we should work on it so these are very important for us now coming to this after this so you keep uh, as a as a even said in uh, earlier uh, session so it, you always have to keep the entire professional experience not more than four lines it looks good like it should be crisp and it should give you the details about what exactly your strengths and then you just go ahead with the sap mn expertise either you can write it as expertise or you can also write it as sap mn technical skills skills so you can also also write it like this so either of these two you can you can mention it here so in this after doing this in M sap mm skills you need to start writing about the mm skills yeah if you haven't yet subscribed do do subscribe to our channel and if at all if you have any issues related to training 
you can mail us at training at the .com. and uh, if at all if you are looking out for jobs you can contact us at jobs at the